Hello my fellow smug ones, I hope you're all okay. Well Gary Lineker said he's going to get tested for dementia. It does make me wonder if a doctor may have seen his Twitter posts. Who knows? Only joking Gary! Let's begin. Okay, as many of you will know, I don't actually have a dedicated upload schedule. So the best way to see my videos as soon as I put them online is by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell. Okay, this story is from The Sun and it says Gary Lineker to get checked for dementia as he calls for head and ban in training. And yes, head and can actually cause quite a lot of damage. Can't have a big ball of air slammed against your head of quite a high speed in some cases. So yes, that could be a concern. The match of the day host who's 60 revealed co-stars Alan Shearer and Ian Wright fear the effects after years of playing. Research shows ex-pros are 3.5 times likelier to die from a brain disorder than the general public. Lineker scored more header goals for England than any other player, so he probably would have been putting himself at quite a lot of risk, although that wasn't known back then, was it? He said, I'll have my triennial test this summer and ask if there's anything they can establish around the brain. I'm guessing also boxers would probably be quite worried about this as well because they get hit quite a lot. So the effects could be quite similar, couldn't they? Anyway, he says, because I don't see how, given the circumstances, any footballer wouldn't be worried about it. And yes, they probably would be, although they quite a lot of them have their mansions and houses and cushions of money and wags to take their mind off it, I suppose. We could be wrong. He added, if I'd known what I know now, I certainly would have limited the amount of heading I did. It's hard to imagine the game without heading, but maybe it's worth trialling. And yes, I suppose it could be, although to be honest with you, you can do what boxers do and have some sort of head protection. I know it wouldn't eliminate the risk completely, but surely it might at least cushion the, any impact a bit. And obviously it's up to the footballer themselves if they want to actually head on the ball or not, isn't it? So that risk is entirely down to them. Anyway, let me know what you think. Here are some of my other videos for you to watch next. If you're a legend, click that like button down there. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.